Hello, my name is Mr. Peña. Welcome to my tutoring channel. I will be your host for today. We're going to be learning about Pythagorean Theorem. This was designed for middle school mathematics, and we start learning this in about the eighth grade. But before we get started, I want to offer you something for free. It's a resource. It is a resource for anyone who wants to know how their child learns. Let's go to this learning styles inventory. If, you're, if you see that your child is struggling with certain subjects and you just want to pick at their brain and see how they learn, there are eight learning styles, as you can see in the graph below. If you join my Patreon by clicking on the link below, you'll get access to this free guide at no cost to you. Just join the free Patreon down below to get exclusive content, downloadable resources, and an invitation to my math tutoring WhatsApp group in that Patreon. This is all for the free tier version of Patreon. I hope to see you there. Now let's get started with today's video. Um, today's actual math problem. Pythagorean theorem. And as we can remember from when we were in school, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, you have the two edges of a triangle. So, basically, this is a the a side, this is the b side, because you see the right triangle. And then this over here is the side that is called C. We call that hypotenuse. You see the word that's there in the title? That's what that is, the hypotenuse. It's that longer edge side that's facing the right triangle. So we have A, which is 15 to the power of 2, plus B to the power of 2, plus C to the power of 2. They've given us C. So we're not finding out C. We are solving for B, the edge that we don't know about. So we're going to multiply 15 by 15 to get 225 and bring down the B squared. And then we're going to do 25 times 25, which is 625. Now we want to move our numbers with our numbers numbers with our numbers so we get b squared equals 625 minus 225 which is 400 b squared equals to 400 we are not finished because that's simply b squared we need to isolate the b so that it's without the square so this is what we do square root square root. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So it's going to be 20 meters. So we have a triangle. Right triangle. This is 15 meters, 25 meters, 20 meters. This is what we were looking for. Very good. So we're going to go to the next problem. We have a figure. It's asking, what is the length of the missing leg? So we have 50 yards by 40 yards and A. So this is what we do. <clears throat> Write the original formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember, this is B and this is C. We don't know A, so we leave him there. What is B? 40 yards squared. What is C? 50 yards squared. Now we do A squared plus 40 times 40, which is 1600. 50 times 50, 2,500. 
Now, move over the 1600. Numbers with numbers, letters with letters. We have 2500 minus 1600. 900. We have a squared. Are we finished? No. We need to square both sides. We got A equals the square root of 90, 900, which is 30. A is 30 yards. So here's the figure, 50 yards, 40 yards, 30 yards. This is 30 yards. If you're looking for extra math help, starting in February of 2024, I have a class on OutSchool. You can register during any time of the year and you'll get remedial supplemental math tutoring in order to supplement your learning. I'm going to be starting that February of 2024. So I hope you can make it and I hope to see you there. There are open spots available. It's called Math Club, 8th grade math club. I also have a 7th grade math club and a 6th grade math club. So you can determine which math club you would like to join. Now, what is the length of the hypotenuse? If necessary, round to the nearest tenth. This is going to get a little redundant, right? We got to write it every single time so that when we go to the test, we don't forget. We're human. We forget things. A squared, remember this is the hypotenuse. This is A, this is B. If I make a mistake, feel free to just leave it in the comments or in the chat. This one's A, this one's B. So, A is 76 squared. B is 57 squared. What is C? Well, 76 squared is 5,776. 57 squared is 3,249. This is easy. We can just add 90,025 equals c to the power of 2. Now we have a square we have a we have c squared. The inverse of c is square root. Let me explain that a little bit. a squared means a times a. The inverse of that is square root. The square root of a squared is just a. So just doing the opposite of squaring a number. What times what is 90,200? And 9,025. We can get that easily, right? Square root it, square root it. When you square root a number that is squared, cancels out it goes away and you're left with that number so it's 995 is equal to c and we like to put our letters first c is 95 square feet or just feet 95 we're gonna do one more problem but I'm trying to find one that is a little bit more sophisticated. Ah, there we go. Actually, now that we have word problems, let's do a couple, maybe three. It says, in a right triangle, A and B are the lengths of the legs, and C is the length of the hypotenuse. If A equals 1.4, B 
feet and B equals six feet, what is C? I'm trying to make a triangle, but in no way is this going to be a right triangle. So I'm better off just making a straight line and doing my best to not botch this shape. Now, A was here, B, and C. A is 1.4 feet. B is 6 feet. What is C? That's the question. So we have the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's plug in one point four squared. Let's plug in six. What do we get? Thirty six. Ah, yes. 1.4 times 1.4 is 1.96. 1.96 plus 36, 37.96. Now we're gonna do square root, square root, square both square root both sides. It says round to the nearest tenth not rush this process. The calculator specifically says, take a look, 6.16, 1, 1, etc. That 6 is the 1's place. The 1 there is the 10's place. So we're going to take the 6 and, and that converts the one into a 6.2. This becomes 6.2. And that is our final answer. Rounding is especially important when you get a long decimal that goes on forever. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Even if we make mistakes, what's more important is that we fix them and we learn from them. I hope that this has helped you in your mathematics journey. If you want to know more, if you want to help, if you want to enhance your learning, you want help with mathematics, you want help with school, you want to know how to tutor your child, join my Patreon get the free learning style inventory within the community you will have downloadable resources exclusive content and an invitation to my tutoring whatsapp group this is my math help whatsapp group where i offer help with mathematics homework to every patron that joins i hope to see you within the community good luck with your studies Take care and many blessings to you and your family. Goodbye.